The interstellar object 3i, Atlas, has not yet departed. We have another chance to observe it, not from Earth, but from Jupiter. It was closest to Earth on December 19th and is now heading toward Jupiter. The fact that it's going to Jupiter is very intriguing and will explain why this exact trajectory is one of the most revolutionary anomalies. When we dive deep into analyzing the multiple layers of mystery surrounding the interstellar object, 3i Atlas, we encounter an impressive and bewildering catalog of 15 to 16 distinct and scientifically inexplicable anomalies. Each of these anomalies, when analyzed individually, would already be sufficient to revolutionize our understanding of cometary physics and interstellar object behavior. However, when we consider all these anomalies working together as an integrated and coordinated system, the picture that emerges is even more extraordinary and disturbing. The super long and narrowly collimated anti-solar tail remains the most visually dramatic and scientifically impossible feature to explain using our current physical models. But there exists an even deeper, more subtle, and infinitely more disturbing anomaly that goes far beyond the visual characteristics we can observe through our telescopes. This anomaly is related to the specific and apparently intentional orbital behavior that 3i Atlas demonstrated during its critical perihelion period. During the moment when the object was positioned at its closest approach to the sun, completely hidden and invisible behind the gigantic solar mass, where our most sophisticated terrestrial observation instruments could not detect, track, or monitor it in any way, something absolutely extraordinary and unprecedented happened. During this period of total invisibility and observational isolation, 3i Atlas executed what can only be described as a deliberate, calculated, and extremely precise change of its direction and orbital trajectory. This was not a natural gravitational drift or random orbital perturbation caused by solar influence. It was an intentional and mathematically precise course correction that directed the object specifically toward Jupiter and, more specifically still, toward Jupiter's gravitational influence radius, also known technically as the Hill Sphere. This zone represents an extremely specific spatial volume, where Jupiter's massive gravity exerts absolute dominance over the Sun's distant gravitational influence. The mathematical precision of this maneuver is simply stunning. We're talking about an object that traveled through unimaginable intergalactic distances, crossing the cosmic void for billions of years, and then executes a course correction so precise that it will take it to a specific orbital position with an error margin of only a few hundred thousand kilometers. To put this in perspective, it would be like an archer shooting an arrow from one city and hitting a coin-sized target in another city hundreds of kilometers away. Now, let's consider the temporal and strategic implications of this situation with even greater depth. When this object or entity began its epic journey through intergalactic space literally billions of years ago, departing from some distant stellar system located in a completely different galaxy from ours, our planet Earth simply did not exist in any recognizable form. Earth was just a collection of cosmic dust, fragments of primordial matter that would eventually condense and accumulate to form our world through geological processes that would take eons to complete. In that ancient temporal context, if any advanced civilization or cosmic intelligence were planning an exploratory or reconnaissance mission to our primitive solar system, Earth would not even remotely be considered as an interesting, relevant, or strategically advantageous destination. There was no life, no breathable atmosphere, no oceans, nothing that could attract the attention of sophisticated interstellar visitors. Jupiter, on the other hand, has always been and continues to be an obvious and logically superior strategic choice. It is exponentially larger in mass and volume, infinitely more interesting from a gravitational and scientific standpoint, possesses a complex system of moons that could serve as operational bases, and offers substantially better and more useful gravity for potentially building permanent infrastructure, advanced monitoring stations, or long-term operational bases. The speculative possibilities are simultaneously fascinating and disturbing. It's possible that an advanced civilization has already established some type of permanent presence, hidden infrastructure, or monitoring system in the Jovian system long ago. Who really knows what might be hidden in the depths of Jupiter's icy moons, in distant orbits around the gas giant, 
or even within the planet's own dense and turbulent atmosphere. Our unprecedented scientific opportunity. The current situation presents us with an absolutely unique and historically unprecedented scientific opportunity. We have the real and tangible capability to collect a massive and detailed amount of additional scientific data during the critical months ahead. This is an observation window that may never repeat in our lifetimes or even in the lives of several future generations. Currently, we find ourselves in a period of intense scientific anticipation, anxiously awaiting the official release of crucial and potentially revolutionary scientific data that will be made available to the global scientific community at some strategic point between January and March of next year. This extraordinarily valuable data has already been meticulously collected during recent months by a variety of sophisticated scientific instruments and advanced space probes, but the responsible scientific teams must wait patiently until they can completely extract, thoroughly process, and analyze in detail all this complex information from the spacecraft that collected it under extreme deep space conditions. The most critical and significant date on our scientific calendar is the 16th of March 2026, when 3I Atlas will reach its maximum orbital approach to Jupiter. The most precise and sophisticated orbital calculations available indicate that the predicted Perijove distance will be exactly 53.6 million kilometers, a measurement that is not only extraordinarily close, but almost suspiciously and impossibly coincidental when compared to Jupiter's gravitational influence radius, which is precisely calculated at 53.5 million kilometers. This proximity is not just statistically remarkable, it's mathematically almost impossible to be the result of random natural processes or cosmic coincidence. The precision of this orbital approach is so exact and deliberate that it borders on the impossible from a statistical probability standpoint. We're talking about an error margin of only 100,000 kilometers in a journey that crossed intergalactic distances of trillions and trillions of kilometers. Juno mission capabilities and limitations. To adequately understand Juno's potential as an observation platform for the historic encounter with 3I Atlas, we must first establish a clear and detailed analysis of its real technical capabilities versus its fundamental operational limitations. This distinction is absolutely crucial for establishing realistic expectations about what we can expect to observe and document during this unprecedented event. The Juno probe was specifically conceived, designed, and built as a pure scientific mission dedicated exclusively to the detailed study of Jupiter as a planetary system. Its highly sophisticated scientific instruments were optimized for extraordinarily precise gravitational measurements, spectroscopic analysis of atmospheric composition, mapping of complex magnetic fields, and high-resolution imaging of atmospheric features and Jovian cloud structures. Crucially, Juno is not a space telescope dedicated to observing distant objects or tracking moving celestial bodies. Its optical systems were designed for close observation of Jupiter and its moons, not for detection and tracking of small, distant objects like comets or interstellar visitors. This fundamental limitation means that Juno's ability to detect and observe 3 I Atlas will depend critically on the object's proximity during its passage through the Jovian system. Additionally, Juno does not possess interception capabilities, trajectory alteration, or active interference with other space objects. It is not a space weapon, does not have planetary defense systems, and was not designed to modify or influence the behavior of interstellar visitors. Any attempt to use Juno for such purposes would represent a complete reassignment of its original scientific mission and would likely result in total loss of scientific observation capability. Mission reassignment and operational considerations. However, there exists the technical possibility of partially reassigning Juno's resources and capabilities for observation of 3I Atlas during its passage through the Jovian system. This reassignment would involve significant reprogramming of the probe's navigation and control systems, redirection of its scientific instruments for mobile target tracking, and modification of its communication protocols for transmission of data related to the interstellar object. The reassignment process would not be simple or without risks. Juno operates in an extremely hostile environment, surrounded by Jupiter's intense radiation belts, and any significant modification of its operational systems could potentially compromise its orbital stability or damage its sensitive instruments. 
Additionally, the probe has limited energy resources and data transmission capacity, so any observation of 3i Atlas would necessarily reduce its ability to continue its primary scientific mission of studying Jupiter. Expert Scientific Perspectives Professor Avi Loeb of Harvard University, one of the most respected and influential voices in interstellar object research and possible extraterrestrial life, has expressed significant scientific interest in the possibility of using Juno for detailed monitoring of 3i Atlas during its passage through the Jovian system. Loeb specifically suggested that it would be extremely valuable to use Juno's instruments to detect any unusual, anomalous, or potentially artificial activity associated with the interstellar object. Among the specific possibilities mentioned by Loeb is the detection of satellite release, smaller probes, or other secondary objects that could be ejected from 3i Atlas during its close passage to Jupiter's Lagrange point. This possibility is particularly intriguing because the release of secondary objects would be consistent with behavior of an advanced interstellar probe that could detach reconnaissance or monitoring elements for detailed study of the Jovian system. Loeb also emphasized the importance of continuous monitoring during the critical period when 3i Atlas passes through Jupiter's gravitational influence sphere. This is the moment when any advanced technology associated with the object would be most likely to activate navigation, communication, or exploration systems, as it represents the ideal opportunity to establish permanent presence in the outer solar system with minimal energy expenditure. As an investigator dedicated to discovering the truth about 3i Atlas, I maintain an unwavering commitment to continue this investigation regardless of where the evidence may lead. If future discoveries confirm that we are dealing with extraterrestrial technology, then we must have the courage to accept that reality and its profound implications. If we discover that all anomalies can be explained by previously unknown natural processes, then we must be equally willing to accept that conclusion. The objective is not to confirm biases or promote specific theories, but to follow the evidence wherever it leads and communicate discoveries honestly and accurately. Scientific truth is more important than theoretical comfort or conformity with established paradigms.